Well, welcome to the second video on making your own craft videos. And in this video, we're going to discuss content. It's going to be fairly quick because the content is going to change whatever video you're doing. I will say at all times, remember what video you're making and ensure everything in the video is covering the topic of the video and preferably nothing else. I know I digress sometimes, but um, I try not to do it all the time and you'll be surprised how much gets cut out in the edit. So you'll notice straight away, and we'll start with branding. I try and make my, all my videos have a common brand. And this gets people used to them. You notice the intro, it uses my logo and it has my tagline. Any bars, etc. I add a, a left bar or a right bar, or even the bottom bar always has the same brand and the bottom bar often has the URL of my website on it because that again it ties it in and it makes it my video and hopefully no one can copy it. Okay so branding is important. I do have two slightly different sets of branding. I have a blue set uh, which is for all the glass painting stuff and a greener set which is for the stuff like this which is not strictly a glass painting video. So that's my branding. About three years ago, after taking advice, I made some changes to my video and I found them quite important. Um, you'll notice up to um, three years ago, all you saw in the videos were my hands doing the work. I never ever showed my face. Now, I didn't realize, but showing my face and talking in the videos made a heck of a difference. Um, it made it I got longer watch times, more people watch the video for longer. Um, I got more people subscribing, I got more questions. People seem to relate to me better when I actually showed my face in the video. So th since three years ago, all the videos I've done, I've shown my face in, but also my hands. Another thing I did was cut out the music during the video. It's Music seems to work on, you know, joke videos where people are doing compilations of funny things and car accidents and this and that and the other. But when you're actually trying to listen to instructions, um, someone's trying to demonstrate it to you, the music can just be distracting. So all I do now is have some music at the end on the titles, but the rest of the time there's no music and helps people hear what I'm doing. Sounds very obvious but film the action. It's okay talking in the video, and I talk to camera quite a lot, but when I'm doing something, I concentrate on the hands and what's going on on the table. Um, it's no good me saying, and next we outline, and we do this with the outliner, if you can't actually see what I'm doing. So make sure your shot is always of the action and what you're talking about. And we will talk about editing in the next video, and you will be surprised, or you probably won't be surprised, at how much I cut out my videos. My videos are probably four or five times longer than what you see as the end result. What I record is four or five times longer. I speed a lot up, so try and avoid being repetitive. I cut a lot out. I actually go through the video and with the, is this necessary question? And if it's not necessary for the video, it gets cut out. And that is basically it. The most important thing is make sure everything in the video is related to the topic of the video. And also make sure you're filming the action. So no go off and showing the dog, which I did once, I think. But always make sure you're filming the action and whatever you're talking about is what's being shown. It's very important when you're doing a craft demonstration. You want to hold people's interest and not show too much, but you don't want to cut out anything, which is important to show them how to make what you're making. Okay, as I said, this will be a short video. So that's it for content. Your content is really down to you to what type of craft you're doing. In the next and last video in the series, we'll look at the software I use to edit the videos and the process of editing. Happy crafting. And that, and that is,
Toby, stop it.